starting the day with a little morning walk. Jack, wait for us. Good boy. Since it's just this dirt road, I've been trying to let him off the leash because he's pretty good about listening. Miley would go crazy. She would chase so many squirrels. Good morning lineup today, coffee, yoga parfait, my notebook, and my planner. Welcome or welcome back to one of my videos. Welcome to a work week in my life. Short work week this week because today is Monday and I'm still at home because we don't have work today, so I'm very grateful for that. Not really sure what I'm gonna do today besides relax and clean up the house per usual because it's a mess. Yeah, I'm excited to take y'all along as always. Subscribe if you want already. This weekend was so good. I honestly wish I vlogged it. It was just so wholesome and I'm just feeling so grateful. We sat down with Justin's mom, planned out the Oak Island wedding and we have things set in stone. A wedding is happening in less than six months, which is kind of scary, but also so freaking exciting. And I just can't believe I'm literally planning a wedding because my entire life I just thought I was never gonna get married. I just have so much trauma when it comes to divorce really because my parents divorced when I was really young and it just it created a lot of issues in my head you know so Thursday June 8th that is when we're gonna get married that is our eight-year anniversary so I think it's very special gonna have a very tiny intimate ceremony on the beach during sunset very beautiful the ceremony itself will only have 12 chairs so when I say it'll be very intimate it'll be siblings Parents, grandparents, that is it. If we have more than 12 people, I think they can stand in the back, but they'll, there will only be 12 chairs. So it's gonna be as intimate as possible. We're gonna have that ceremony at the point in Oak Island, which fun fact, that is the first place I ever saw the sunset on the beach. So very cute. I was originally wanting to have the ceremony on Casual Beach at the lighthouse, because every time we go to Oak Island, that is where I wanna go, see the sunset, and it's just a very special place to me. But logistically, it's just kind of hard. So we're gonna do it at the point, which is still very special, and I'm so excited. And then that Saturday, we're inviting close, a little over 50 people to come celebrate our marriage with us. So we're gonna have a long beach weekend of just fun, food, and dancing. I think that's what I have on the little announcement thing. But last night, after Justin and I, Justin's mom and I talked, we decided to make a Facebook event page just to go ahead and get the word out there because all of my family does live all over the place. So if they wanted to come, we had to give them plenty of time to come. Book an Airbnb because it will be during probably a busy time at the beach. So already got it out there, already got a few people saying they're coming. They already booked their flights, already booked their Airbnb and gonna be so fun. We already know all the things. We sat down and literally planned it all in a couple hours, put the down payment on the ceremony stuff. So they'll set everything up on the beach for us, take it down, have music, have the officiant, all the things, all the things for us, which is great. Then yeah, we just have to plan the little party in the yard, which is gonna be really exciting. And yeah, gonna be a good time. This weekend, I also got my Orange Theory coaching schedule, which I am super hyped about. I am not at at the location I've been training at, which is kind of a bummer, but I'm really excited about the location I'm going to. They have me booked for 12 classes a week, which is so exciting. I'll be coaching every Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. The next day I actually coach by myself will be the 27th. That's when I'm on the schedule for the studio I've been training at, but she said she still wants me to come in and co-coach with her until then. That way I'm not, not on the mic for like 15 days. So she wants me to come co-coach still. Yeah. Yeah, gonna be a great week. I already know it. I'm just gonna sit here, enjoy my breakfast for now, start writing in my planner things that are coming up this week. I guess I can go ahead and put in my Orange Theory schedule, which is really exciting. And then for wedding planning, there's not really much I have to do besides getting a finalized list together, but obviously I can get that a little later. I don't need to do it today. Like I just told people about it yesterday. So I do need to type up a message to send to my immediate, fa immediate family, to let them know about the Thursday ceremony that they are invited to and just to let them know, I already know the time and everything. So go ahead and send them that. I need to call a few places to book a time to try on dresses, which is absolutely crazy. But Justin's mom and my mom is gonna go with me and. And I think it's gonna be really special and I'm excited. I'm excited for all of this. Excited to take y'all along with me. And yeah, let me get to planning my day. Subscribe if you aren't already. I am so grateful y'all are here. I only have the days on the schedule up until the 13th. So this is all I can write right now. But every day I coach, I'm literally coaching three classes. So that is so exciting. Now I'm gonna start cleaning up the house because it's a mess.
Taking a break from cleaning to make some lunch. Gonna do a turkey burger and some broccoli. Just gonna pop this in the microwave for four minutes. And just cooking the turkey burger in a pan. I was looking to see if I could come in and try on some dresses Sunday the 22nd. How early were you wanting to do, honey? Later in the evening, if possible. But the latest we can do is 6 o'clock. Okay, no, that's perfect. Hey, honey, you should be getting a confirmation text and email about your appointment. We'll see you then, okay? okay? Thank you. I finished my lunch so fast. While I was eating, I was on the phone with Justin's mom. She's already calling around places, seeing their availability for chairs, tables, all the things, and it's just so much help. So, then I also just got off the phone with a bridal store, and I booked an appointment for 6 o'clock Sunday to go try on some dresses, so I'm pretty excited. Before I was on the phone, I got a text from the head coach asking if I would come co-coach tonight so i'm gonna go co-coach two classes or probably coach every time it's co-coaching now i'm just coaching and she's just there just in case i need help but i'm gonna go coach the 4 30 and 5 45 class tonight it's one o'clock now i really want to go to the gym but i also really want to clean our bathroom because it is a mess but i don't want to be rushed on time so i think i'm gonna go to the gym and then i'll come back and clean that way i have extra time to go over the template and i don't feel rushed going to the gym and then coming back so here's my outfit for the gym got a rep orange theory at planet fitness just wearing this green tank top that this black fuzz is getting all over but not really sure what i'm gonna do at the gym i might just run i'm not really sure but we'll figure it out gonna go move our body for a bit it is now 319 I got home from the gym took the dogs on another walk just because I felt like they had more energy I had the energy to walk still so I took them on another walk then showered I should have body shower because I'm washing my hair tomorrow and then I just put my hair in this little French braid thing but now I'm about to start getting ready to go co-coach I'm gonna go over the template one more time I went over it a little while I was at the gym I actually did the treadmill block at the gym after I did a full body workout. Feeling pretty good about it. It's a power day. First day of the transformation challenge, which is exciting. So I'm gonna go coach two classes and then I think we're doing chili for dinner. Good morning vlog. I am so tired this morning. 6.14, I didn't really sleep well last night. I just struggled falling asleep and then I woke up at around four ish in the morning and just couldn't go back to sleep my mind was just going all over the place trying to think of so many different ideas but it is tuesday going back to work today it's gonna be a good day hopefully <laughs> packing my lunch now just making some wontons gonna pack some yogurt i'll make a parfait so i'll just bring these in a little ziploc bag and then as a snack a protein bar and some light cheese good morning vlog it is wednesday we went to bed kind of early last night, so I thought I would wake up feeling nice and refreshed, but I woke up feeling extra tired, and I think it's because I ended up going to Planet Fitness yesterday and practicing an Orange Theory template that I'm coaching tomorrow. And it was really hard. There's a tiny bit of incline on the treadmills. Nothing too bad, but I worked really hard. I literally did. I wanted to just do the treadmill part of the template but then i ended up leaving the treadmill and going and finding a spot and doing the weight floor stuff also so i did a full orange theory class pretty much in planet fitness yesterday so that was that was fun yeah i am really tired today my quads are sore my back is a little sore i'm just honestly just feeling good though because i know you don't have to feel sore to feel like you did something but i'm happy i feel sore because i feel like i did something yesterday i know i did something yesterday but i'm proud of myself for doing the treadmill template i did the whole thing and i only cheated myself on the all out i didn't go for the full 30 seconds i think i did like 15. but anyway i meant to vlog way more than i did yesterday but both of my camera batteries were dead as soon as i put them in and started recording they literally flashed that they were dying so I finally started charging one yesterday, charging the other one now. Got some coffee with some almond milk and my oat milk creamer. Just made my lunch. I think I showed you guys what I made for lunch yesterday. Just some wontons, yogurt, granola, blueberries, protein bar, and some baby bell cheese. Just a bunch of yummy stuff. I'm really excited about my yogurt parfait. For dinner, we're gonna try to make this. We got it from Costco over the weekend and I'm so excited. We've never had it before. Some pretty exciting wedding updates. I don't think I told y'all yesterday, 
but monday night we pretty quickly booked an airbnb because we plan on taking our dogs with us and we were gonna stay in justin's parents beach house with them but they have to take their dog and he doesn't get along with other dogs so we either had to find somebody to watch our dogs or board them somewhere and of course everyone who we trust to stay in our house to doggy sit them they're all coming to the wedding so we don't really have anybody to watch them so we're like no we need to take them and we quickly found an airbnb that allows you to take dogs so we booked it but then we were like why don't all of our close friends stay with us that way it'll be like a fun little thing you know i originally kind of wanted our separate airbnb that way we can kind of get away from the craziness but it makes so much more sense to have one with all of our friends i think that would be so much fun and yeah so we ended up canceling that and finding another one yesterday that we can still bring the dogs to it's got a fenced in backyard it's got plenty of beds for our friends to sleep in and i just think it's going to be such a good time i'm really glad we were able to find one that we can bring the dogs too because they love the beach anyway so i would have felt bad if they couldn't go and plus everything works out exactly how it should and i just have to keep reminding myself that anytime i start to stress about something everything is going to work out exactly how it's supposed to and yeah it's going to be super fun i also finally got an email back from the guy who is going to do our engagement pictures and now i just have to decide where we want to go and i just have to text him today because that's what he told me to do and i also got plenty of text back from photographers saying they're available for that Saturday, June 10th. And I just have to reach back out to them and tell them now there's not gonna be a ceremony and a reception the same day, it's gonna be separate. And I already have a photographer Friday because it comes with the package that I ordered. I did fill out the contract yesterday for our wedding on the beach pack, so that's exciting. Justin was even telling me yesterday, he feels like this is happening in two weeks because we've gotten so much stuff done within a short amount of time. But I told him that's kind of the easy stuff we got out of the way. We still have to figure out how many people are gonna be there, order a tent, tables, chairs, all the things. And yeah, so I'm glad we've knocked all this stuff out and we don't have to think about it for another five months. But there are still some other things we have to order before we can completely relax, you know? Another little update is I'm feeling comfortable in my natural face. So I'm not wearing mascara today. I didn't wear mascara yesterday. And honestly, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> really proud of myself that I feel comfortable to not wear mascara. It is 6.32, so I have eight minutes before i have to leave i think tonight i'm gonna take an orange theory class it's a tornado template today so i really just want to see how they coach it and hear the cues and stuff because you didn't see that vlog where i coached the tornado template i got really overwhelmed and literally started questioning if i have the ability to coach so i really want to go actually see it in action because i never got to before i coached it and yeah, hopefully today is going to be a good day. Today was a good day. I prepared for the next few Orange Theory classes I'm coaching. And I got a big Amazon package that I'm going to unbox right now. I decided I'm not going to take an Orange Theory class because I'm feeling really lazy and tired. And I have to be up really bright and early tomorrow. I have to be up at 4.30 because I'm going to coach the morning classes before I go into the office. So yeah. Just an excuse, but I'm gonna take the dogs on a really long walk here in a bit. I got two Amazon packages. I'm not really sure what's in this one, but I know this big one has to be my heated blanket and my two possible engagement dresses. Oh, this is my white eyeliner. I ordered a white eyeliner because of everyone on TikTok with the white on your underline. So I'll try that in the morning. I ordered two dresses. I showed them, I showed the picture of them in my last vlog, I think. But I'm going to try them on here in a bit and hopefully they fit. And then I got a heated blanket. I haven't had one in a really long time. The last one we had, our old dog Shadow, who is no longer with us. But he destroyed my other one thinking it was a toy. So it's been a long time coming for me to get one. I'm really excited about it. It's a really soft, furry material. And I think it's going to be perfect. I'm excited to see what Miley does with it because I feel like she's going to love it. It's a decent size. We can have it this way. That way it can kind of be on me and Justin, but it's so soft and I'm so excited about it. Not that I need it today. And it's so hot out. My door's open right now. It's a beautiful day. I was sweating in my cardigan earlier, but that is why it'll be perfect to take the dogs on a walk. And this is just the little things to change it. It's got 
five different temperatures. And yeah, I'm pretty excited. Now let me go try on these dresses. Hopefully they look good enough for me to show the vlog. Okay, here's option one with my dirty mirror. I'm not obsessed with it. I don't think I love how this looks. In the picture, they have the bow like this. And I just don't know how they get it sitting right. And I just feel like this area just looks weird. And I just paired it. I'm stepping on these beds. But I just paired it with these little nude heels that I have. But I might just have to buy some new shoes. But here's option one. Here's like a full 360 of it. Y'all let me know what you think. And here is option two. I do think I like the short sleeve one better. Even though I was really hoping I would like the long sleeve one better. I just think... This area looks better on this short sleeve dress. I like how it like snatches in my waist. I don't know how to get this into a cute little bow, so I'll have to figure that out. But I also feel like it gives me a little more coverage right here, but same thing as before. Here's a little 360 of it. Very short, so if we go somewhere where it's windy, I'm gonna have to really be careful that it doesn't like y'all let me know what you think i'll probably like them once i get the wrinkles out of them and i have self tan my makeup done and my hair done i'll probably just wave my hair for my engagement pictures not really sure how i'm gonna do it for the wedding but i also don't mind this short sleeve dress with the shoes i feel like with the long sleeve i didn't really care for the shoes but i don't want to have to buy new shoes just for engagement pictures so please let me know your opinion option one or option two Good morning vlog. It is Thursday. I just got to the studio. It's 417. I don't have to be here for another like 15 minutes, but I always get here way earlier than I think I have to. Or I leave my house way earlier than I think I have to. But I'm just going to use this time to go over the template and hopefully everything goes good. I'm sure it will, but the head coach said she's not feeling well today, so I'll for sure be on the mic all five classes. And yeah, it seems like a pretty easy template to follow and the times are very, very simple. It's always easy when the times are 30 second intervals or 60 second intervals, but when you get into 45 or 1 minute 15, it gets kind of complicated. So. Times look pretty simple today. Just gonna go over the template, figure out what I'm gonna say, figure out what I'm gonna say for the demos, cause that's really what I need to go over. And then I'm gonna go in, start setting up. It doesn't really take that long to set up, so you only have to get here 30 minutes before class starts. After I leave here, I plan on going to Starbucks, but it is kind of out of my way. So I don't know what the deal is, cause I know later on today, I'm definitely gonna be tired if I don't get another coffee, so. Just got home from co-coaching or coaching five classes it went really well of course she gave me some pointers every class and hopefully she thinks i applied them i feel like i did but then i got a call from the regional manager saying someone at my new studio you probably just heard jack huff but someone at my new studio is sick so they asked or she asked if I would come cover her shift for her tonight and I said of course because I already did the five classes this morning so I know exactly how the template goes and there's gonna be no surprises you know hopefully so I'm gonna go to my new studio and coach the three classes t this evening by myself I mean this morning was by myself also but this is really by myself because I'm not gonna have my safety blanket of my current head coach with me you know so I'm feeling very excited so yeah I am home now usually I would go back to my office job but because they want me to coach tonight, I just texted my manager saying I'm gonna have to take a sick day, which this is my first sick day, actually. So I just called out of work for the very first time ever. First time in four or five years. Anyway, called in sick because I'm gonna need a nap. I was up at, I don't even remember, but it was early, so I know I'm gonna be tired. So about to eat some lunch and take a nap for a couple hours and then go coach three classes this evening. I'm very excited. I was able to fall asleep. However, I'm still really tired, so I'm stopping at Starbucks to get a coffee before I go. Hi, can I please have a grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Grande brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso? Yes. Milk. Can I also get a water? Just water? Yeah. Okay. And that's oh. it. Thank you. My nap was honestly so good, except I forgot it was trash day, so mid-nap I heard the beeping of the trash trucks backing up so I kept waking up and then the dogs would bark because of them but I'm so proud of myself I 
actually got a nap in and hopefully I can wake myself up after I get my coffee gonna head to the studio I'll get there a tiny bit early but I'll make sure I have plenty of time to set up get some music going and yeah I'm hoping it's gonna be good I'm still feeling really excited so Hopefully it'll be a good class. Just got to my new studio. I'm actually here an hour before I need to get here to start setting things up. So I'm just gonna hang out in my car for a little bit. I want to make a coaching Instagram. So while I'm sitting here, since I have the time, I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. That way I can start posting my schedule, try to get as many people in my class as possible because I think the more people you have in your class, the more money you make. And I just think it'll be fun once I get comfortable to have lots of people in my class. And I want a place where I can motivate people. And I have a fitness Instagram, but I don't want put a bunch of orange theory stuff on that because people don't follow me for orange theory they follow me for my fitness journey you know so yeah just gonna make a whole other instagram just for coaching and yeah just feeling good just gonna hang out in my car at starbucks i got the shaken oat milk espresso this is the first time i've gotten this and it's delicious it is very sweet but it is so good i'm literally chugging it i feel like you can tell how tired i am look at my eye bags i am exhausted it's 8 45 just got home I walked 21,200 steps today just from coaching. Well, I did take the dogs on a little walk, but mostly from coaching. I coached eight classes today and yeah, I'm tired. My thoughts about my new studio is I'm really excited to be there. I am really nervous because the manager said the 4.30 classes usually fill up really fast, which means I'm gonna see some 3G classes and I've never coached a 3G class, so I'm very nervous. She almost had me do a 3G class today, and I was like, mm, I've never done a 3G class, and I just don't feel comfortable doing it. So, luckily, in our little coaches website thing, there's a whole little template rollout where they'll explain the template, and they'll have an explanation on the 3G. So, I just need to get in the habit of also looking at that just in case, because I'm not going to know until people sign up. So at very last minute, it'll switch to 3G, and that really scares me. I did cry today only once because this girl was in my class who I've coached before at my other studio. She knew my voice sounded familiar, but she didn't really recognize me. Once it clicked in her brain who I was, she said I was completely different from that day. I sounded so good. She said I, she knew my voice sounded familiar, but she didn't know where it was from. Just from coaching her before. And yes, yeah, so that made me feel really good. I literally teared up. I'm like, this is my second time crying in front of you. But luckily this time, it was good tears. You know? If I was blurred that whole time, I'm really sorry. I feel like I can't see straight right now. So, I'm gonna eat some leftover chili, shower, and go to bed. 